One of the uh, phrases you are increasingly hearing is embracing change or managing change. You have to embrace it, not manage it. You have to embrace it and go with it. So in the athletic, the Olympic metaphor, your body has to be very, very flexible to deal with all these new stimuluses, attacks, problems that are arising. If you think rigidly in the face of that kind of bombardment, you will break. If you can be flexible like an Aikido master, then you will be able to go with the flow and then help redirect that flow, which is what embracing change is all about. You therefore need a thinking tool that allows you to be flexible, that allows you to have a structure, but when that structure is pushed against, that structure can yield while being strong, can bounce back from, can regenerate from any damage. And the mind map allows you to do that all the time. If suddenly some new piece of data comes in that is gonna impact majorly on your organization, the mind map immediately allows you to put that data in, look at the whole new picture, and adjust to make the next step forward. And if another big change comes in, you will incorporate that in your mind map. The mind map adjusts appropriately, and then again allows you to embrace that change and to move forward. And the good thinkers, the good corporations, embrace the change. And where many people would be saying, oh, how terrible, you know, we're going to go bankrupt, we can't solve that. The good thinker, the mind mapper, will say, how fascinating. Far more opportunities in here now, because all our opposition are floundering and collapsing, and we're not. We are embracing it. And the mind map is the tool that allows you to do precisely that.